Wait on fire. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, of, of the four, this one here. Ready? Yes! <laughs> wow! <laughs> You're too close to my camera. Oh, I'm sorry. That's alright. Hey. Congratulations. <laughs> The state of Delaware would offer for the very first time an opportunity to harvest a tundra swan for the 2019-2020 waterfowl season. There would be 84 permits to which a maximum of 11 permits would be available to non-residents based on the percentage of out-of-state license sales. I was one of those lucky few. I'm also fortunate in the sense that I know some really great people. Andy Dively of ANA Outdoors is no exception. Andy was looking to put together a fun hunt on New Year's Day with family and friends. When I got the invite and he mentioned he had seen well over 100 swans feeding with the flock of snows he had located, I was more than happy to make the drive and set 1,500 decoys. Not going to do any of the uh, the battery stuff. No. Um, I don't think it would be a bad thing to run the, the clones because I've been using those like on a momentary thing and these juvies have liked that. Let's do that. Yeah. You know, so like we'll throw the clones out yeah. and then uh, let's do... Uh, like 20 flyers. Okay. We'll do three on the tall poles, you know, the bouncing poles, and then the rest. How's that? Sounds great.
three in this pair come, I'm going on because we're losing too many birds. Kill him. Thirteen minutes for the swan to start flying. There's your swan. Oh, they've got to get out of the sun. All right, the bird that's left right now. In front. Of the four, this one here. Ready? Yes! <laughs> wow! <laughs> it was too close to my camera. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations. Locked up on them. Come on, Swanee River. Good job, Derek. Good job. That's pretty sweet. Uh, that's so pretty. Pretty yeah. nice. Total, I think, was 84. 84. I think it was 84. Right, 84. Like it, it was like a weird. Wow, but I think what? Four of them could go to like PU, Dowda, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, four of them went to non profit organizations for that. Yeah. Got just a little bit. Not much yellow on them though. Yeah, a little bit. That's... I think I think it's like noticeable. A couple different spots over there. It's like I can't go back through there without seeing 25, 30 turkeys every time I'm back there. Huh? Right, turkey? Turkey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had to stop the truck the other morning so they wouldn't they were they were coming out of the trees down across to the front of the field. And I thought I was going to get hit. There we go. Good job, Dad. Tagged up. Making the thing. Glad you can make it. You man.
Thanks, Scott. Derek got one too. Better run, Derek. They fall out. Good, or falling out. So why is there two? One is the crippled one and then one landed. Okay. One hit hard. We got more up. Lucas still needs his. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Lucas, tell you, get up and sit over here beside Chuck quick. Yeah, yeah, hurry up, yeah. hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> you know what they're going to do now. That's <laughs> one, Lucas. <laughs> Great hunt today, thanks to uh, Andy Dively at A, a Outdoors. Uh, he put us on some geese, and my very first tundra swan in the state of Delaware. The first year for it. Great to make it happen. Thank you, Andy. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Great hunt, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. Hey. Thanks, Derek. Scott. Lucas. Lucas. Way to go. Uh -huh.